What's up guys, welcome back to another EVE Online video. We're going to be talking today about skill point farming. Now this used to be a lot easier before the plex increase, before you know everything kind of like skyrocketed as far as extractors and large skill injectors. You used to go, you used to be able to go like an entire month and then take all the trained SP out and cover your, um, your Omega if that's what you want to do or sell the injectors or whatever and add a profit but i've kind of changed how i do this and i do it at like scale and i've run the math on the different um ways to do this but essentially um going into this what you need is you're gonna be basically going off of a if you want to profit without any sort of like um extra work going on on this alt you're gonna want to be running 12 month omega or 24 month omega uh cycles in order to actually just break even and this i'm just going to show you in this video how i do skill point farming now you can do this one of two different ways this alt can be in jita just training skills and you're just trying to make as much as you can from it to pay for its omega while it has other skills it is beneficial for if this character can do other things but you also run the risk of losing a clone if you're taking it out in space but um for me i just do it like on pure profit it's just pure passive income for me these alts um are usually just you know sino alts or you know things that are just kind of sitting around and not being used all that much so i'm gonna go through all the math and explain everything but first i'm gonna show you what you should do in order to set up the alt itself so when you first make your skill training alt you should let it stay omega or stay alpha until it gets to its you know 5.5 .5 million skill points you do not want to start your omega cycle until you've already gotten past the threshold for the non-extractable skills right you want to go ahead and get to that 5.5 and if you use a referral code in the description that'll give you a 1 million sp boost to help you get there but the goal is we don't want to use any of our uh, omega time to to uh train skills that we won't be able to take out right the other things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have cybernetics and this is something you're going to have to have whenever you uh first turn on um, Omega I don't remember what the uh, skill requirement is for this uh, I don't remember if you can get this for uh, Omega or not but you want cybernetics 5 on here because we're gonna be using plus 5 attribute uh, implants to help speed us up because what we're aiming for is we're aiming for 45 SP a minute and I'm not going to be um, showing you the um, cerebral accelerator um, math that will add to the value that you can get from doing this, but they're they're very, you know is you're not going to be running cerebral accelerators all the time. Their availability can be um, kind of spotty, and also it just buying them is going to cut into your overall profits, which is already very very thin. But if you do want to use cerebral um, enhancers or accelerators you want to get your biology skill up to five because that's going to give you a total of a hundred percent on the duration of any of those so she's just now actually you know getting her biology skills up just because i had gotten one from a uh, a login so as far as skills go cybernetics you want to get that up to five and i'm going to go and show you the attributes and the uh, implants here so we're using the improved ocular filter, memory, augmentation, neural boost, uh, pro subprocessor, all that. All these in the first five slots, all of those add plus five to their respective um, attribute. And so as you can see here, her attributes, she's been respect as well. She got 38, 28, 32, 28, 28. These are a little um, inflated because she does have a six point um cerebral accelerator on right now but what you definitely want is you want these plus five implants which is one of your initial investments and then you want to be able to remap this and what you want to do is i always um always remap into perception and willpower just because there's more base skills that offer that as a primary and secondary so let's go over skill so i can kind of explain this to you if you roll over any of these skill categories you're going to see two attributes in each one the one on the left is going to be your primary and the one on the right is going to be your secondary so for start spaceship command perception willpower for gunnery perception willpower and for missiles perception willpower and 
you know, you can also see other things too, like what the total category um, skill points are in here and everything. I just train spaceship command skills because, you know, you can usually just stack up an entire like five skills um, to cover everything. So perception willpower is our primary and our secondary that I'm mapping for. And as you can see right here, when you're mapping, you're going here to remap. You only get to do one of the, when you first make a new character, you get two free remaps. So you can do it like um, two times for free, but then you have to wait a year for that one of those remaps to refill. In order to remap here, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna subtract everything down to its base value. So you're gonna take out all the bonuses. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your primary and you're gonna max it out all the way. And then you're gonna take your secondary and put all the remaining points into it. And that would be a successful remap on that. And so as you can see, this alt, she is remapped for Spaceship Command. So anything she trains in Spaceship Command, gunnery or missiles is going to have the highest SP per minute. And I'll give you an idea of this too. So if I'll go over to scanning, this is an intelligence memory. If I roll over this um, archeology span skill, you can see she's only gonna get 42 skill points per minute because she's not spec into this. But now if I go into Spaceship Command and I go over Kaldari Battleship, 54. Obviously this isn't plated because I said I have a cerebral accelerator on, but with plus five implants and um, specking the way I just did, you're looking at about 45 SP per minute when you're not boosted from an accelerator. So as you can see, you have to be training this skill actively to get that rate. So right now she's not going to get that rate currently because she's training biology. Biology is only 42. But the second I take out um, biology and I get rid of all this like target management and stuff like that, and she's going in the if she's training any missile, gunnery, or spaceship command, she's going to get the highest SP per minute. So keep that in mind. All right. <clears throat> so the way that SP farming works is essentially your character is going to passively generate and passively train skill points and then at the end of the month or at the end of the near the end of the omega cycle you are going to buy extractors extract all those skill points that you farmed turn them into large skill injectors and then split them into small skill injectors and then sell them okay now you have to take a lot of things into account here like broker fees um, sales tax and also just the extractor cost so going back to skills some other things that you're trade alt or your uh, farming alt might want to have is going to be, and she actually doesn't sell her own uh, small skill injectors. I'll let my main do that. But what you're going to want is you're going to want um, broker relations. You're going to want advanced broker relations, accounting, and things like that. If you're going to actually sell these small skill injectors on that tune, I might actually train her into that just so that she, uh, she can kind of do it all by herself. I don't have to worry about coming to town for it, but it's something to, to keep in mind there. All right, so now we're going to get into the math of everything. And the goal actually for this is we want to be able at the end of our Omega cycle to take every skill point that we train during that cycle, turn it into small skill injectors and be able to cover the cost of Omega and preferably have some ISK left over. Now, this tune is a, a sign of Walt. She is, um, she can do a lot of things. So me breaking even on her is not so bad if i can just pay for omega with um, skill training and that's that's fine right but you have to realize that if you're going to suck out every skill point that they're ever going to uh train in an omega cycle they're not going to get better overall right so you need to if they're going to be a farming tune like an ice or ice mining tune or if they're going to be like a, a ratting tune and you're already okay with their abilities and what they're able to do then them paying for their own omega through skill training should be fine if you want that character to grow then you're gonna have to like you know scale up a little bit or you might just have to like alternate months where you like you know plex for uh, one omega cycle and then you pay for the other one depending on what you, that you want that character to actually do so let's get into the next portion which is going to be the skill extractor there's uh, three different ways that you can buy skill extractors you can go to the web store for CCP on EVE Online and you can pay real money for them or you can go to the new Eden store and you can buy them here when this ever just loads they're down here and you see the cost here and I've already done the math on all this the cheapest way the literally the cheapest way to get skill tractors is from buy orders 
So we're going to go and look at this. And you can do the math yourself. You can go into the new Eden store and you can look up the cost that the Plex is at the current market value. But right now, if you place a buy order for your extractors, doing them from the market is going to be your cheapest way. That's what we want. We want our extractors to be the cheapest possible. The next thing we're going to be looking at is our skill injector cost because this is what we're going to be selling for ISK. And as you can see here, we're not going to sell our small skill injectors to buy orders. We're actually going to sell them on sell orders because you want the highest value. And the reason we're not going to do larges is because a single small skill injector is 188 and then a large skill injector is 939. So if you take small skill injector times five, it's actually a little bit more than a single large. So you just want to come when you, whenever you get ready to sell your injectors, go to appraisal and just compare a large skill injector sell cost to five small skill injector sell cost. Because once you make that large skill injector, you can just break it into five. And they're also a lot, they, they move a lot easier to, they sell a lot faster as small skill injectors because they're more um, newbie friendly because they have a little bit lower price point and things like that. So I try to just, you know, focus on the actual small skill injectors themselves because you can even sell them around starter areas to help you out as well. Now let's get into the actual math of it. Um, Row spreadsheet for this, just to kind of help um, illustrate like kind of what you're dealing with. And uh, we'll just kind of go over that really quick. All right, I try to make this as big as possible so you guys can see it. But uh, as of right here, we have this is the as of time of making this video, this is the current Plex value. And I'm going to be calculating based off of 12 month of Omega. This is the current buy order sell price or buy order price for extractors and then small skill injector. This is the current top sell order value, which we just saw. We have our SP per minute, which with the five plus five injectors and um, our attribute remapped, we're gonna be looking at 50 or 45 SP per minute. Over the course of a month, that means we're gonna get roughly one, uh, close to 2 million skill points. And then, then if we're calculating based off of 12 month Omega, we're gonna be getting roughly 23 million SP over the course of 12 months. Now what this equates to is we will do, essentially over the course of 12 months, we will um, buy, 47 extractors and we will uh, at some point generate 233 small skill injectors from breaking up all the large skill injectors our extractor cost is going to be for the year is roughly going to be 24 uh, billion and then our ss our small skill injector value is going to be about 44 billion now this is our it, the net isk after we sell all of our small skill injectors and we um, subtract the cost of our extractors. Um, I mean, this is before we pay for Omega. So after we've sold the small skill injectors, we've paid ourselves for the small the in extractors that we bought. We're gonna have 19 billion left over. And then once we pay the for another 12 months of Omega, which is 16 billion, we will be left with 2.7. Now, obviously, you can um, not, you don't, since you're going to be left with that much ISK left over, if you want that tune to actually get better and actually have skills and be able to do other things while also uh, skill training, you don't have to extract the full 47. You can just come down um, as much as you need. But I just have it maxed out here because that's what she does. I mean, if she has to go do a Sino, that's fine. But that's just how I, I do things. Now, keep in mind, the reason I'm running on 12 month Omega here is because anything less than 12 months is um, you're, it's very difficult to actually break even on this. Right. And the, the, the way you can actually see that is we'll go back to the, the New Eden store here and we're just going to bring up the uh, <clears throat> the Omega cost. And also, if you want to do this for long term, you can also do uh, 24 months, which gets you even better value. So right now, we're going to go we're, just to illustrate this a little bit. I want to just change this uh, spreadsheet for you. So we're going to first we're going to do it over um, the course of one month of Omega. So one month of Omega would be 500 plex at current market value as 2.3 billion, right? And then we got to go change this down here from 12 to just one. And so as you can see here, we would have to extract four times, which would be 19. We, we can only extract four times because we're um, that's if we even come up a little bit to like two million. It's actually technically like if you don't get any login reward SP or whatever, it's actually gonna be like three. So it's actually even worse. 
So this is just going to try to round it up as much as it can. But you can see here, just on a, just a single month of Omega, you're going to be in the hole about 600, almost 700 million. Okay. Now let's go and let's look at um, three month Omega. This is 90 days. This would be um, 1200 plex. And then we're going to change this field down here to three because that's three months. And then this is a, uh, now the cost has like gone up even more substantially. Like now we have to do 12 extractions to be 58 small seal injectors. And uh, we're still in the hole at 700, um, 705 million. And now we're going to go to the next tier, which is six months, which is 2100. Change this to 2100 plex. And we're going to change this to six months. It's getting a little bit better, as you can see. Once we hit that break point, once we hit that six month break point, we can start to see it. And chances are, you could probably still do it with six months because your the skill points you get from logging in daily and from the events are probably going to bring you to the point where you uh, you break even on that um, that 27 million negative. But the point of this video is going to be kind of showing you how to do this um, sustainable and not necessarily rely on SP that you get from logging in and events we want that sp that free sp because it's just going to give us even more value but we want to go ahead and we want to make this sustainable so now that puts us at 12 months again which is 3600 plex we're going to go up here change this to 3600 we're going to change this field to 12 now you see we're um, we're profiting at about 2.7 billion going on 12 month cycles and then just to uh, extrapolate on this a little bit more, we'll go up to 24 months because the, the higher you go in, um, the longer you go in Omega tiers, the cheaper um, Omega ends up being, which is why this works. So now 6,600 would be for two years. So we're going to go ahead and put 6,600 in here. And then we're going to change this 12 to 24. Now, for 24, this means that we can do 93 extractions over the course of two years. We can sell 467 small skill injectors over the course of two years. And after we uh, sell our skill injectors and we recoup our costs for the extractors, we'll have $38 billion left over. And then after we pay for another 24 months of Omega, we'll be sitting at $8 billion, which is roughly about $4 billion um, a year which is obviously better than doing 12 months. I mean, obviously we, we did 12 months, we netted like 2.7 billion. So if you do plan on doing this long term, then going for the 24 month mark is probably the best because that's just gonna give you even more. I mean, obviously like, obviously um, <laughs> eight, 8 billion over the course of 24 months is not great, but for the most part, you don't even have to worry about this tune at all until that 24th month once that 24th month hits then you're actually going to jita you're getting extractors you're you know sucking out all these uh skills and then you're doing it all at once once it's done you you know, queue up their skill queue again and then you go right back at it you just let them sit which is what i like about it you, they don't need any sort of um during that time during that omega time they don't need any sort of uh interaction other than just like getting their login rewards and what I normally do is all the SP you get from like logging in and um, the events and stuff, I just leave it unallocated and uh, kind of just, you know, because it's like a little game I like to play. I like to see how much over the course of like a year they actually give you an SP and it's pretty significant if you actually save it all. But probably this video gives you guys some per, um, perspective and we'll just recap a little bit. So going over, we want our Omega, our per month Omega to be as cheap as possible. So the break point is really in between 12 or six and 12 months. So you really want to be on 12 month or 24 month rotations and you want to buy them from a new eating store because that's going to be where your Plex is. As far as your attributes go, we'll go and recap on this. For implants, you want these plus fives, which you need cybernetic skills for. For your attributes, you want to suck everything down and then get your primary maxed out and your secondary for the remainder. And then for your skill, Q, you will only want to be queuing up the category that your primary and secondary are. So in her case, it would be nothing but spaceship command, gunnery, or missiles, right? Your 
skill extractors when you get right to do your extractions for your omega period or whatever the case may be the cheapest way right now at the time of making this video to getting skill extractors is going to be from buy orders and then whenever you generate your large skill injectors and you break them up into small skill injectors you want to sell them to sell orders so you can post them for like three months or whatever but you do not want to sell them down here because you might as well just be selling large skill injectors at that point so and obviously every time you um buy extractors every time you you know do this at the end of your omega cycle you're going to be wanting to check all this stuff before you jump just so you can make sure you do the right strategy so is farming skill points still viable yes is it a it's a longer game nowadays before all the things like increased in price like omega plex and large skill injectors and extractors for all that stuff kind of like inflated so much you used to be able to just do this over the course of a month and then you know be back in the black but really it's all about like extending and really the only way that this actually even works is by getting large um uh, omega packages so going 12 month omega or 24 month omega just because of the per omega cost per month but and when you get it all set up and obviously there's an initial investment with the implants and when you like i cannot stress this enough when you first make your skill farming tune make sure they stay alpha until they hit that 5.5 million skill points if you're going to go the 12 month omega route do not get that 12 month omega going until they are at 5.5 because you do not want to burn any of that time for that omega time on skill points that you will not be able to take out during that period but anyway hope this uh, video helped you guys and uh gave you some information on skill point farming and everything and i will see you guys in the next one peace out